Okay, buddy, let's recap the lesson. So I'm on page 765. Um, and so what we're doing is this. We're finding zero. So if you take any of these quadratics and you set them equal to zero, what you find is where it crosses the x-axis. In this example, it only crosses it once. So since there's always two answers, we call that a double root. So it's really at x equals zero twice. Okay, so it crosses the x-axis once, but we have to call it a double root, okay? Um, there are two answers in this one because it crosses it here and here. So the two answers are one and negative one. Positive one on the x-axis, negative one, okay? On this one, though, it doesn't cross the x-axis at all. So there's no solution, never cross the x-axis, okay? Now, let's talk about why. So you turn the page, and we're talking about this thing called the discriminant. So the discriminant is what's inside of the quadratic form. You know, you've got the negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well, the discriminant is the inside piece. It's this part right here. That's the discriminant. If the discriminant is negative, then you take the square root of a negative number. You can't do it. If that happens, there's no solution. Okay? An example of that, we saw it down here. We took quadratic formula, we wound up with a negative square root. You can't do a square root so that we know there's no solution, so it looks like this, okay? If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac equals 0, you have the square root of 0, which is just 0, there's only one answer, okay? And we have an example of it right down here. We've got the square root of 0. Here's an example of the graph. only has one answer. Well, technically two, but they're the same one. And if I is if the b squared minus 4 say is positive. So you're going to take the square root of a positive number. It gives us two answers because of the plus or minus. And an example of that is right down here. We took the square root of 4, which is plus or minus 2. We do get two answers, okay? So in our work over here on page 767, we did three examples. The first example we did was the, you know, the negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and we evaluated it. We got 144 plus 116. Well, that's positive, 144 plus 16. Turns out to be 160. And so we know when you take the 100 square root of 160, you wind up with 12.6, but it's plus or minus. So you do get two answers. The two answers happen to be 0.162 and a negative 6.12. So two answers because the, you took the square root of the positive number. Example two, we did the negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We wound up with 144 minus 160. We subtract those two values, we get negative 16. Um, it's not going to work. You can't take the square root of a negative number, so you get no solution. And then finally, the third example we did was we took the negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c um, all over 2a. And we evaluated that, 144 minus 144 which is zero, and the square root of zero is zero, so only one answer. We saw that it looks something like this, okay? That's all I have. I have a worksheet. Um, lesson, I think it's 5-3, and I'll stamp that tomorrow. If you have any questions, come see me.